the froth in there. And look how beautiful this looks. Today, we're gonna bring an espresso machine, a beautiful espresso machine, beautiful color. They have in various colors, but we're gonna to explain to you a little bit more about it first. First of all, when you get it out of the box, don't wash it, run it once so it could clean itself off, off dust. Just wash the, the, the basic stuff like the spoon and the actual water cup or the actual milk cup for the steamer. There's a couple of things you should know on this. Uh, it does come with a couple of things that you need to take apart. Uh, first of all, you got to get this out of the part and then this part comes taped too. So this is a drip base. If you guys can see it, that's where all the coffee, extra assessed coffee goes in here. The steamer part of it. Um, to turn it on, it's going to be basic the on button. And then to start actually making the coffee or the espresso, you will have to put this in there. Make sure the pressure is high. Now, over it, we do have a, a warmer. And this is where you actually put in your cups. They warm up your cups in here on the top. If they're a little wet, it's fine. They're going to dry up in there. It warms them up. Once you're ready to drink and pour, you bring them out and you're set to go. Now on the side, you have an off button and an on button and the difference uh, from negative to positive and you do need water to make the steam and to make the froth on the And you need to have the milk separated, of course, if you guys can see separate milk in here and your coffee ready to go. Um, the actual grip itself, it's really handy. It has a lock mechanism, so you have to make sure it's from left to right, all right, to twist this thing. Portable, you can take this anywhere. Removable water, uh, it's easy to replace. There is a, ma a minimum to maximum on the back, and we're going to explain to you a little bit more about that. But first of all, we're going to run a test to wash it out first, clear it out from any kind of dust particle, and see how it works. So let's go ahead and do that. So right now we're going to run a rinse. Turn it on. All right, guys, recommendations, put two of these cups because one of them, it actually filled to the top. So we want to make sure we have enough room for two. We're going to run a test on it. So go ahead and run the test. Turn it, off. Turn, it back on. turn it off and turn it back on. We're going to go ahead and drip some water in there. We're cleaning it out. If you guys can see, it starts dripping. There it goes. It's building up the pressure. It's good to do this kind of test because it has UV light going through and at the same time you got steam hot water. All the way through we're putting the steam on it. You guys can see it. Steam's coming out right now. We're going to clean it up this way uh, for a couple of seconds. And if you want you can always steam it like this too. Make sure you grab everywhere around. Uh, it's going to mix with your actual milk and it's extremely hot so just be careful when you're doing this all right now when we're going to turn it off we're going to build it this way and then we're going to turn it off now and that's how we turn it off we're going to go ahead and do the espresso right now so we have it off the machine in order to build the pressure you want to turn it off and on sometimes um, so we're going to go ahead and put in some coffee first all right get enough coffee in there um, top it off and then what you do is pour one scoop cut it out straight down make sure it's all the way down don't twist it straight down st to stomp it you gotta stomp it you stomp it okay remove it and it's supposed to look flat all right once you put it in there get the little grip and then twist it holding on the machine because it's a little strong all the way to the center there we go now once we built up in the center you go ahead and make two cups and the, they're in the cup warmer right now as you can see i'm going to put it on the side we got that going as you can see now we're going to crank it up we're going to build some pressure up um, prior to that make sure the light actually heats up once it's done, once you build enough pressure, you turn on the coffee center. So we're going to do that. Find that it's not building pressure. You could just turn it off and on here too, and it'll start building pressure automatically. But we're going to wait until this gets solid. And then we're going to put in the center piece and we're going to split the actual coffee dripping. We're going to start building the pressure and you guys can see it. it's going to start bringing the coffee and it's dripping. As you can see, it's solid and it's bringing the coffee down higher, higher. Out, there you go, there you go, 
There you go. That's what's really soft now. Harvey, yeah. go. Okay, we got one coffee here. Put the froth in there. And look how beautiful this looks. We're not professionals on making the coffee, but look how beautiful. If you know designs, you can actually make better designs with this. So really easy to use. All right, look at this froth, beautiful froth that I made. So we're actually going to clean it up. And the way you can clean it up, turn on the steamer so you can get any kind of substance in there. Make sure you clean it with a, not a napkin. You're going to need a wipe towel, right? And we're going to go ahead and go over some maintenance things that you need to be aware. Once, you have to make sure you clean up the drippings, all right? Two, clean up the actual top. All right, to remove it, simple. You hold on to the machine, all right? Make sure you hold on to the machine. And look at the excessive coffee. We're gonna get rid of it. We got rid of, we're gonna get rid of this part. After running just water, if you guys can see, it took all the grind in the coffee. There's still some coffee crumbs in there. So just make sure, like I said, run it like I did. And maintaining, keeping maintenance of the system will keep, last you for many years. All right, make sure you can take this off, if you guys can see that, and clean this, all right? Very, and this is stainless steel, so it, I wouldn't recommend you dishwasher because of the plastic handle or anything like that. And this one has plastic too. It has the intake in the bottom. Make sure that's a little cap that has a, if it has a filter, make sure there's nothing in there. Wash it properly. If you guys can notice there's some grind in there, I have to remove and wash it properly. If not, you can always grab a napkin, dry it up prior to setting and putting it away. Very simple. Make sure the dripping part is also not compromised. If you guys can see this part moves, you could take this off. You could take this off for maintenance, all right? I recommend you guys doing that. That's very important. So you guys could, if it's gonna be put away, you wanna last forever. I'm gonna put it away. So we're gonna maintenance this thing and we're gonna run some steam on it so we can clean this part of it. You gotta make sure you get a damp towel. So get ready to go. And then we just wait for the steamer. Make sure you get everything out of it. Once we get to a hot point where it's super hot, so we could get rid of the actual substance. So when we turn it off, too, and immediately grab a napkin, damp it down, clean it up as much as you can. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.